I can't lie, I've got exams tomorrow, but first and foremost, I just got to tell you, this is why we love the Premier League. And I, I just wanted to give you a quick breakdown because, you know what, I was always thinking, Newton away, it might be a sticky match. You know, we just got to have, like, things patterned and all that sort of thing. But, bro, like, my head is buzzing. Like, you know, Declan Rice was on a mad thing. I can't lie. For him to bag like that in the last kick of the game, he's a brazy guy, I'm not going to lie. I can't lie, we might have robbed West Ham, like... Shh, don't tell anyone we might have robbed West Ham. That's what might have happened. But, bro, like, I mean, we took the lead, like, first, obviously, Martinelli um, connecting with... I can't remember who cut it back. It might have been might have been White. That combination on the right-hand side was cooking. But then a couple minutes later, we're conceding the first corner that Luton had, like, very disappointing. We've actually got the best defensive record in the league going into the game, so... To concede from the first corner, that's not on, man. That's not on. That's not on, honestly. But literally, before the half ended, some good play down the left-hand side. Havertz makes some space by running into the box. And Jesus, you know, rises and meets the cross. And, yeah, all of a sudden, it's 2-1 just before I'm done. I'm like, cool, it's good. We enter second half. I'm like, all right, we need a bit more of an impetus. We need to get the third goal. Put these guys to the sword. Bro, Corner comes in, bro, Raya had an absolute howl, I'm not going to lie to you. Adebayo beating him to the header like that, that's crazy, that's an absolute howl. And the thing is, look, when Ramsdale wasn't at it against Brentford, we spoke about it. So we have to speak about Raya right now because it's like, I have to think about it. Was it worth, was it worth, you know, all the chaos, the talk and unsettling Ramsdale? We have to ask ourselves that question for sure. And I mean... With how harshly you can say Ramsdale is being treated, we have to look at Ray and be like, like, it sh- like, come on, he's getting lucky. He's getting lucky, bro. Couple other times he had mad nervous moments, but he was he was getting life, I can't lie. But today, today wasn't that day. Today he got caught out, bro. That corner thing, I was not feeling it. But guess what? It can happen in a match once. You saw Alisson against City. He didn't have his best game. Cool. Bro, eight minutes later, Ross Barkley... Quick step over, pulls it across, left-hand side, he drills in, it just goes underneath, right? I'm like, come on, that's poor. You should be saving that. That's two in one match. That's not a good look, Ryle. Especially when you've got Ramsdor right behind you. There's not that much difference between you two, if any. So when you're making mistakes like this, it's always going to get exaggerated. And obviously, bro, we were telling the media to shh about the story, like, shh, we just want to focus on Arsenal. But guess what? Because of the two mistakes Ryan made today, it's blown it out of proportion. So now, guess what? The story, up in flames. ESPN... Sky Sports, all the media outlets, they're going to be running with it. And that's because Ryan made the two mistakes. And guess what? Declan bailed you out. You owe him a drink, I'm not going to lie. He bailed you out, but there'll still be questions. But the proportion of the questions wouldn't have been as mad had we dropped points. But they'll still be mad. Guess what? They'll still be mad. But on to the like, good stuff. Bro, combining on the left-hand side, Jesus lifts it across for Havertz and he pokes it in. Um... Good finish, actually. Good finish. I actually thought Havertz was doing bits this match. Like, he was putting his body about. He was being physical. You know, he was being dynamic. I actually thought he had a very good performance today. Like, I enjoyed his performance. He was, like, hustling and bustling. For me, his performance was better than early guards today. I saw a lot from Havertz. Even, I think, defensively, he was helping out. In terms of Ryan's long kicks, trying to win it, like... <sighs> definitely rate his performance today. But the adrenaline from Rice's late goal... Bro, like, my head's still spinning, like, because obviously I'm recording this straight after the game. Got an exam tomorrow, but I was like, nah, let me just drop this, because this is crazy, but... Yes, Raya, you need to check yourself, ask questions of yourself. Arteta, you need to question the situation with your goalkeepers, because you don't want something like this to derail us in a title race. Look at the uncertainty. We don't want something like this to derail us. Can you pick a side? Can one of you keepers actually do bits consistently, please? But, yeah, man, listen, Raya saved the day, so... That's a conversation for another day, but we will we will return back to the Raya Ramsdor conversation. Ramsdor might have to hang in because I don't know, it's looking crazy right now. And I'm now like, okay, Raya was on loan, but should we have given him the security of knowing that the deal was going to be triggered permanently? Like, was but is this situation just unsettling both people? I don't know, man. I don't know, but that's still a conundrum that we need to solve because we can't be going away to looting and conceding three goals, two of which I think were Raya's fault. Things happen, but I've seen too much faults from Raya this season. I've seen too much. And if it's Ramsdale, I'm not happy with it. So I'm not happy with it when it's Raya. Do you get it? 